Naveen, how are you doing? Um, and uh, well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much for agreeing to give us uh, the oral history interview on um, the Indo-French Scientific Partnership. And um, so this is how we're going to do it. Uh, I mean, we can uh, you can give us a, a little overview and in form of your talk, and then we can have a discussion later on. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so thank you. So uh, I am uh, in Paris on your side. You are in India, in uh, Delhi, or something else? Yeah, I'm in Delhi. I think Matthew is in Bangalore. In the Bangalore, okay. So, uh, from uh, what uh, I understood uh, from uh, the mails we exchange, uh, is uh, that uh, in fact uh, you would like to have an overview of uh, the French Indian uh, cooperation in uh, space. And uh, I should say that uh, during the last years, when uh, I was uh, president of from uh, April 2013 to April 2021, so six months ago, when I stepped down, uh, I've been uh, very fortunate because, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, we moved from um, um, a, a relationship between uh, France uh, and India. Uh, it was uh, when I joined CNES, a kind of a relationship uh, of uh, solid trust, but uh, we are now in uh, technological and strategic uh, alliance, which uh, spreads uh, over all uh, our fields of uh, activities. And we definitely change the scale of this cooperation. Uh, when I joined CNES uh, in uh, 2013, in fact, uh, the most important priority was the climate with uh, two satellites in orbit, Megatropic and uh, Saranaltica. And uh, we decided under uh, the leadership of both uh, President Hollande, uh, President Macron, and of course, uh, Prime Minister Modi, uh, we decided to move to a much uh, larger cooperation and uh, in particular in the field of uh, satellite constellations, uh, space exploration uh, with uh, Venus, uh, Mars, uh, space, human space flight with uh, Gaganian, of course, uh, about uh, what we are doing in the field of uh, technologies, in particular for launchers, and of course uh, we kept the climate. And uh, in the same time, uh, space became a kind of a pillar of uh, the strategic dialogue between uh, France and India. And uh, it is the first time, in fact, that uh, we speak uh, together about uh, space for uh, uh, security, space for defense, and so on. Uh, we had also Roughly in the same time in uh, the two countries, uh, what is so-called the new space, which is a new approach uh, for uh, space industry. And uh, in a few months, uh, Bangalore, that I visited a lot of times, uh, both when I was a chairman and CEO of Iron Space and uh, president of CNES. So Bangalore became, uh, in a few months, the second hub of uh, the new space worldwide, just after uh, the Silicon Valley. And uh, I should say that uh, CNES and uh, ISRO uh, made things easier uh, in uh, helping all uh, the startups, and uh, we created the, uh, let us say, um, the important uh, tools which uh, will make possible uh, new cooperations between industry. And uh, this will allow uh, our uh, companies in uh, India and in France to uh, increase and develop our competitivity. So this is uh, what uh, I uh, can say uh, in a nutshell uh, as a presentation. Afterwards, of course, we can uh, elaborate explaining that um, the relationship with uh, India is uh, very, uh, very uh, important. Uh, uh, personally, I visited several times uh, 
the state, the space department. We had uh, frequent uh, talks, in particular, I remember um, in uh, uh, 2018 when uh, Prime Minister Modi decided uh, to uh, enter into the human space flight uh, immediately. Uh, we discussed uh, with uh, my counterpart in uh, ISRO. Uh, I had the privilege to meet with uh, Prime Minister Modi, uh, and uh, it was in January uh, 2015 when uh, Professor Blamont, uh, who is uh, someone who was, because unfortunately, as you know, he passed away last year, but uh, we was uh, instrumental in the development of cooperation between uh, India and France. Uh, Professor Blamont uh, has been awarded uh, with uh, Padma Shri in uh, January 2015, and uh, uh, a few months later, I had the privilege to welcome uh, Prime Minister Modi in the Toulouse Space Center. He came to spend two hours at NEST to understand what uh, we are doing. Um, I think that uh, our relationship uh, needs, of course, uh, uh, frequent uh, meetings. And uh, from this point of view, uh, we are very pleased uh, to have uh, a permanent representative uh, from CNES in uh, Bangalore with uh, Mr. Weiss. Uh, he created this position a few years ago. And it has been very successful and uh, very uh, useful. And uh, I developed uh, during all these times a very uh, special relationship with my counterpart in ISRO. I started with uh, Professor Rao, then uh, Mr. Uh, Nadir, Mr. Uh, Nair, Mr. Radhakrishnan. Uh, Mr. Kiran Kumar, who has been awarded with the Order of Legion of Honor, and more recently with uh, Dr. Uh, Sivanka. Uh, it is not so easy, in fact, to develop international cooperation. Uh, Bangalore is at uh, 10 hours from uh, Paris. But uh, I think that uh, we have been, uh, we are very successful. And uh, when you speak about cooperation uh, between India and France, uh, both uh, in uh, India and in France, uh, a flagship is the cooperation in space. And as I told you, I stepped down from uh, my position at CNES a few months ago, but uh, I am very confident in the fact that uh, my uh, successor, Mr. Philippe Baptiste, will continue uh, what uh, has been built uh, between India and France during uh, all these years. And I want to, let us say, pay a tribute to Professor Blamont because he started this cooperation in the uh, early 60s. I think that he started in 1964 with uh, the father of the Indian space program. I know that Professor Blamont is uh, very well uh, respected in France, of course, but also in India. And uh, I think that uh, without him, uh, nothing would have been possible. So this is what I wanted to say uh, as a short introduction. And of course, if you have a question, I will be uh, more than happy uh, to answer. Thank you so much, sir. So I think um, what my first question would be is, uh, of course, there, there's, a, there's a huge history of, of India and France cooperating in space sciences from the solid propellant technology that was a part of the technology transfer that happened in the early 60s, which uh, came through uh, people like Praful Bhavsar and Professor Blamo meeting in Washington, and then Vikram Sarabhai going to Nice for another conference and everything else. And then, of course, then there was the liquid propulsion technology, Viking engine and all of that. My question to you uh, is, sir, uh, because you've uh, you've seen how the 21st century space science has developed between India and France. Where do you think uh, uh, would these kind, these, this joint cooperation would be in say next 10 years and what kind of uh, things that you expect to happen in the coming years? In fact, uh, 
We developed a lot of uh, new programs together during the last 10 years. To be very honest, uh, I do not think that uh, if uh, 10 years ago uh, you would have uh, asked uh, my predecessors the same question, you would have been able uh, to speak about all, uh, what we did. But, uh, but uh, uh, for me, uh, what is uh, very important is that uh, we have many uh, joint projects. We have an excellent relationship both at political level, at technical level, and the fact that uh, we have someone in Bangalore, of course, is uh, very, very important. Uh, on the ISRO side, you have also a representative here in Paris. And so uh, it makes cooperation uh, very easy. And now we have a number of projects uh, together. Uh, we are going to launch quite soon uh, Ocean Sat 3. Uh, we have uh, in the pipe uh, Trishna, of course, for the infrared. We have the constellation for uh, the observation of uh, security in the oceans. Uh, we have a project on Venus, on Mars. So we have uh, the human space flight. So we have many, many topics. And I am sure that in the next 10 years, of course, we will continue with these topics. And uh, I am sure as well that uh, new topics will uh, arise. And uh, because of the excellence of our trust, of our mutual partnership, we will be able to start immediately cooperation on these new topics. Well, that's fantastic to hear. Uh, the other thing that I, I uh, because I, I started my career with reading a lot of uh, history of uh, space sciences, and my expertise is the history of space sciences. And I realized that, um, especially in space science and technology, the entire cooperation between India and France was uh, based on the kind of friendship that Sarabhai and uh, Blamont shared. And it was their personal relationship that shaped the bilateral relationship, and then, of course, the entire space program. So, how do you think is what do you think is the role of personal relationships, or how was your personal relationship with your counterparts that helped in 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 forming of the projects and uh, other ideas in the space? Uh, in my opinion, this is fundamental. And uh, this is why, uh, in spite of this fact that uh, from uh, administrative purpose, he retired uh, in uh, 1991, and Professor Blamont stayed in CNES as an advisor uh, till he passed away uh, last year. And uh, we have to continue. And uh, personally, uh, I spent a lot of time in this cooperation. And uh, I can tell you that even if uh, I don't run uh, CNES anymore, but I will continue to visit India to see uh, my Indian friends because I think that uh, such a personal relationship is uh, very, very important if you want to keep uh, alive such a cooperation. This cooperation is a kind of, uh, let us say, bilateral uh, treasure for uh, India and for France, and uh, we have to continue to keep it alive. That's nice. Uh, uh, so during your tenure as um, the chief of the French Space Agency, if you have to pick one event that you would say was the highlight of uh, your career, say in context of Indo-French partnership, what would that be? I think that the visit of Prime Minister Modi in Toulouse was uh, really a very, very important milestone in our cooperation because Prime Minister Modi uh, stayed uh, a few hours in France. And uh, I've been very impressed that uh, during these few hours, he accepted to travel to Toulouse and to come to spend more than two hours in the Toulouse Space Center. And uh, I visited uh, the Space Center with him. Uh, I had the privilege to speak with him during two hours. He asked me a lot of questions. And for me, it is, uh, let us say, uh, the climax of the, this uh, cooperation. Of course, it occurred in uh, 2015, but I am sure that uh, in the near future, we will have uh, perhaps a visit of Prime Minister Modi, of Indian Prime Minister in France, or a visit of the French President uh, in India. But uh, having uh, the privilege to have uh, such a very high level 
political uh, politician was uh, really uh, the demonstration of this the fact that this cooperation is uh, very very important yeah, yeah i think uh, it's it's safe to say that when uh, we have the political will behind the scientific enterprise it flourishes very well do you think so yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, that would be it. Uh, thank you so much, sir. It was really nice uh, talking to you. Thank you.